Hello everyone. Hope you all had a great Monday. Being that it is Monday means spooky places. And this week we shall visit a few reportedly haunted hotels in Florida. And the first stop is the Casa de la Pez Bayfront, St. Augustine, Florida. The ghost in this hotel is the spirit of a young woman who stayed here with her husband on their honeymoon. On the last day of their trip, he went out on a fishing expedition. His boat capsized in a storm and a young man drowned. The woman could not accept his death and died of grief. She has been seen at the top of the stairs, standing next to a suitcase. Guests in the hotel have reported hearing a knock at the door and a voice asking, Is it time to leave yet? People have reported the feeling that someone is standing behind you, or a cold breeze in the hallway. <laughs> and the next stop for today is the Don Caesar Beach Resort and Spa in St. Petersburg, Florida. Thomas Rule built the Don Caesar in 1925. He included a replica of a fountain where he used to meet his love young European woman named Lucinda. He met her while a student in Europe, but her parents forbade the relationship. He returned to America, but never forgot her. He often wrote letters to her, but they were returned to him unopened upon her death. He received a letter from her indicating that she had never forgotten him either. The fountain was taken down in a renovation but guests still report seeing the young couple walking hand in hand on the same spot. Some also see Roe on the fifth floor where he used to live. And the last stop for this week, my friends, the Biltmore Hotel in Coral Gables, Florida. In January 1926, the Biltmore opened its doors. Unexplained noises and lights are seen here, there. Here is a history on the Bil Biltmore. It served as a hotel in the early 20s and then used as a hospital during World War II. Many people died in the place. There's a tale of a woman dressed in a white who jumped out of the tower window to save her child. She did not survive the fall, but ne nevertheless, the Biltmore front desk receives calls from a hotel guest about a woman in white who was in the room. The Biltmore is one of the few hotels in the county, country, to label a 13th floor and this only has one elevator that goes up to that floor. That is when Ghost went to. That is it for this week, my friends. I hope you enjoyed these spooky places. I'm wishing you all a good night. <laughs>